welcome to marine tech hub today i'll be explaining you about the algog boiler and uh, for beginners please listen carefully uh, this is the computer where i can operate my boiler start stop uh, just the load all details so in the part 1 of the video today i'll be explaining you the schematic diagram and i'll explaining you actual operation of it so in this picture you can see this is the boiler and this is the fd fan then we have the two pumps are there fuel pump 1 and 2 so one is running so other is stand by fuel is taken from here goes all the way and uh, this is the heating coil the steam heating coil so the fuel has to be heated up in order to give a good firing uh, fuel temperature can be heated up to 130 degrees or 110 depends on the design of the boiler and this is the pressure gauge uh, where the fuel pressure you can see here how much pressure is there the fuel will go from here there is a controller there how much fuel is to go and then you have a valve here so if the boiler is not for firing then it will circulate within here once you want to fire this valve will open this valve will close and the fuel will go here so only the fuel will go for atomizing we require the either steam from here or at 4 to 5 bar or if the boiler you have to fire from a uh, Uh, say zero pressure then you can use the air for the atomizing this is one part of it then one of the important thing which i want to tell you is the force draft fan so the force draft fan what we have is uh, when you use the force draft then you you can make sure that it doesn't cut in cut off okay so i'm trying to explain you one by one here you can see here the cursor moving you can see the cursor here moving yes okay so you can see i am trying to tell each of the thing this is the uh, boiler pressure this is the water level so water level has to be maintained automatic so it will be zero or plus or minus uh, 5 so it will check the water level then you have the fuel fuel temp temperature and fuel pressure this is the fuel pressure here you can see the cursor then this is the fd fan okay when i click on the fd fan you can either make it forced run or you can say no so when you making it forced run you are running the uh, you can see here once you click that you say yes forced run then after that you click okay then you can see the force run written here so the fan will not stop so each time what happens is boiler cuts off and after some time the boiler will stop after purging the fd fan will stop okay the fd fan will be continuously running here so after the purging operation so why i am putting the fan on force draft is each time the fan will cut in cut off the contactors can burn burn means many times cut in cut off you have to clean the contactor then the boiler also has to initially when it runs it draws a huge current so to avoid all that you keep it force running so you can see here if you say no then say apply then click okay you can see the force it's gone you see here it's gone so again i will show you press this then you apply yes click yes then apply then okay you can see the green light coming here and this force running okay so same thing i'm trying to explain you as a engineer you have a very good thing what you have to do is every time you uh, run a boiler for a longer time and uh, you want maintenance free problem so you have to make the force fan run forced running that means you are not allowing the fd fan to stop so boiler whenever it's firing initially what happens the fd fan starts then purging happens the cycle sequence of cycles are there which i'll be explaining you in more detail 
then after bowler stop purging and all then again their defense stops again before starting again when the bowler pressure drops to say uh, 6 or 6.2 it will start then it may stop at 8.4 bar pressure so this is the sequence all the safeties are there if you want i will be explaining you more in details uh, how we are going to uh, build up pressure for the cargo heating okay if this is the first part of my video if you have more any doubt regarding this you can message me thank you